Welcome to day six. Almost there. Another level polished off. This bow is probably considerably better than 335 at this point. 380, yeah, that'll... that'll do. seen that before, ever. Apparently she didn't get long enough of a scream off. pretty fast. So we want boots and gloves. Sort of pronto. More cotton than a coat either, I suppose. Definitely seems like it would be nice.
looks roughly okay, right? I thought I saw a second spot that was missing spikes though, right? Where was that? So it looks like it's okay now, maybe? Or maybe I just filled both of them earlier? I'm not really sure. They never stood a chance. So we could use, let's say, 167, I think we rolled 170 wood frames. We could use another 50 wood spikes. And after that, it's like we run into wood log spike mode. Why? Because it's like the most efficient inventory space wise. Stack up to 500 and store 30 wood per uh, item, effectively, whereas wood frame only combines 5. You can combine 15k wood, 15 stacks, into one stack of wood log spikes, which burn at 80% of the length of the default wood anyway, so. I'd probably feel better about doing this if I actually knew what I wanted the concrete for. But what do I really need concrete for at this exact moment? A little bit for repairing. A little bit to uh, concrete up like maybe the first layer or two of the underground basement. Just that way in case they try to like tunnel it all. 
I don't even mean necessarily level or two, I literally mean layer or two. But... It's strange. Unfortunately, I don't have the level I want to actually be going and looting towns. I have a few general guesses, I wouldn't even call them educated guesses at this point, as to how the loot system's working. But, if I want something that's going to be better than, like, blues consistently, I'm probably aiming for level like 60 plus in that regard, and if I'm looking for purples, probably 80 to 100. So mining tools can be used to be digging, at night especially. Miscellaneous crafting is obviously being increased right now. I can work on some tailoring stuff as well while I'm responsible to find the patterns. I'm trying to remember what other skills I'm really looking to try to be leveling. Athletics will go up naturally. Construction tools will go up naturally, but it already has a bonus. Gunsmithing's a big one. We can get a lot of XP from that, presumably. Uh, especially with those veins. Oh, hey. I think those are almost kind of it. But those will power up level us to like 100 plus combined. My base is up there, right, for example, and we can even put a waypoint marker down just to make it super convenient. Call it, like, home. And then over here, right, we, we thought we saw a town. So if we just put that there for a second. So town is... It's only like 300 meters from home. I'm not sure if that's worth a, a base. Maybe one in the middle of town? I don't know. I'm trying to figure out what to use the concrete for now.
suppose we can see if I can raise my scavenging a little bit naturally at least, for sure. I do like looting things that don't have high value items in them, because again, the even if it's like five times level, right? That's only like 200-ish, plus even with another 100 from Quality Joe, means I'm getting 300 quality gear. Which is not exactly that um, awe-inspiring. I'm not sure I want to waste limited looting things on if I'm only going to be getting like 300. On the bright side, maybe up to 200 damage per hit with Fire Axe. So that's nice. shot at seven I feel robbed very robbed here so close down to six I certainly don't claim to have all the answers. It definitely seems off to me when, even if you want to scavenge, you are very, very, very highly encouraged to not scavenge until you've gained some levels first. Just so that you can get, like, skinny points in Quality Joe, just so you're not finding complete gray items. And then you even, while scavenging or exploring, you level so slowly overall compared to somebody who's actually building or mining or whatever. This person who's mining leveling too fast, am I way too high level for the day? It's a, I'm willing to say that's entirely possible. But, I don't really think the solution is to make it even... But rather, it's definitely, you definitely not, shouldn't be leveling as slow as people who are just scavenging are leveling. That is absurdly slow. Weapon skills increase at incredibly, like, ridi just ridiculously slow rate. I mean, my archer's like probably, what, three? I have one archer still. One. Just to make sure we're on the same page here, right? I only have 15 kills? Okay, maybe that's not quite as bad. But I've had like well over 100 as I recall, and didn't have archery past like 6 or 7 or something. And you'd think within 15 zombie ki kills that they all involved at least one bow shot.
dreary day is definitely not helping things, I suppose. What was miscellaneous crafting up to? Only 79 still? Wow. I was expecting it to be higher, frankly. I guess we'll just have to see about that. Well, hello, Mr. Cave. Seriously, I'm trying to appreciate this spooky cave. I hate crawlers because they make so much goddamn noise. Seriously. charging out of the darkness at me right now. Almost very bad. 
seemed to decide it didn't like me nerd pulling right there. It's kind of hurtful. gravel right here that indicates part of a vein.
going to have to head back pretty soon. But I want her to check this out here. way too long we need to go. Be a bit of a mad sprint back. Basically what's going on right here is what you really don't want to do. Get so engrossed in something and misjudge the time and get caught out. So this is basically very much a don't do this. Am I probably going to be okay? Yeah, just because I can sprint like hell. Um, but I have like a lot of the stamina talents, but... zombie on my tail right there. I don't know, yeah, I think I just heard him yell again. He's still back there. trying to do a little bit right now. So we still have enough for about 200 um, wood clubs if we want. 
this we can just scrap him. We won't have way too much scrap lead. Which you get if you actually mine. Put the stuff away. In the appropriate boxes. We'll need to replant some of that. Thirty-two minutes, huh? So I have a guess that it's not going to wind up uh, taking quite that long as gunpowder skills up. That was extremely atmospheric back in that cave, though, I gotta say. The flickering of the torch. I'm wondering if you're gonna find a zombie bear out the corner ready to run. prior to any skill gained. Now, so we just shaved off two minutes there. Let's see how much more he needs to speed up. far from bedrock. Potentially about 11, I think, it looks like. So what if we just, in fact, settled the issue? down at bedrock already. It definitely means that you could start easily make some tunnels at bedrock level.
so I can make five more anvils with that n whole mine clay I have. I should have actually mined more clay like I said I would. I got just distracted, I guess, by the that cave. seconds each now. So at 980, it's going to be requiring, let's see, 2213. If we re it, we now get 2150. That's much of a gain this time, for sure. I don't think I turned the bottom.
So I've been pouring all of that wood I've been harvesting into these wood blocks, of course. First priority tomorrow is clay. started like mining in earnest. You know, I mean there's these multiple spots in these walls with whole veins. The cave system has a bunch as well. One shot at this rock. I think I'll have might have mined down to bedrock. Anyway, I mean, I guess it'll help while expanding it out by one in every direction. Assuming I haven't gotten that too. Anyway, day seven video coming up.